it only happens. Heart shaped hockey sticks. Hey, do you want to know why it only happens on hockey sticks? Me either. Shout out to Isaac Bishop for requesting this song. It was awesome to meet you the other day, brother. God bless. Alright, we are in the key of E major 7. Alright, so let's begin. I'm going to show you two ways. First way is um, as it is on the record, a very simple um, song. And second way is with a couple of variation ideas. Let's begin with the little intro riff. Alright, so we're going to go... So we're starting on the 7th fret of the E string. And we're going to play... Play it once and then hammer onto the ninth, and then down to the E on the uh, fifth string. So we're gonna play it twice, and then you're gonna go back to the C sharp, uh, to the ninth fret of the E, and then so that is we're gonna play the E on the fifth string, but you're gonna hammer on to the seventh and then pull off again like that. Okay, then the second time, ba da ba ba bo ba. Okay, put it all together slowly, ba da ba ba bo ba bo ba 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 ba. And then the chord goes, okay, that's an F sharp minor, seven. Back to the um, E major seven. So let me teach you those two chords. Uh, the F sharp minor seven is uh, barring the ninth fret with your first finger, what, top five strings. Middle finger goes to the to the tenth fret of the B, and ring finger goes to the eleventh fret of the D string. Okay, E minor seven, uh, F sharp minor seven, sorry, and then back down to the key, which is E major seven. So that is uh, what you're gonna do is you move the bar down two frets, and then middle finger goes to the uh, eighth fret of your G. Little finger goes, of oh, actually ring finger first goes to the. Ninth fret of the D string and little finger goes to the ninth fret of our B string to do that sound. And you could even leave it open and play open, play an open E as well, that's fine. Okay, so we're. Okay, so the intro all together. But as you strum that, that chord, the rhythm picks up again, so you can't, you don't really have time to play that sort of neat super guitar. Okay? Then we, and then you're going to strum the F, E major 7, and then E major 7, down to the uh, E flat major 7, and then back up to the E, okay? Like so. The only other chord, uh, only other chords that happen, really, is a, is a B major chord. So, uh, again, if you're barring the 7th fret, you're going to put your middle finger down to the 8th fret of the G string, and then these two are going to go to the 9th fret of the D and A strings, okay, B. Then we begin um, the verse, which is just strumming an E major seventh chord. But yeah, but you know my love of you. Jokes. And then uh, F sharp major seventh B, F sharp minor seventh B, and then back to the E. And then the chorus. It only happens is again just E sharp minor, B twice, back to E major seven. When I look at you, it only happens when I look at you. All right, so that is. Uh, the whole song very simply. Let's just talk uh, basic strum pattern. So we're going down, up, down, up, 
Now on that down you're doing a bit of a strike. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, and again, those downs were not just it's not just a down strum, it's actually muting with your left hand and striking the muted string. So down, so down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. So every time I say the down, I emphasize the down, it's actually a strike. So down, so down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. Okay, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And the trick is that your left hand is actually letting go of the tension in between to give it that stopping sound. Otherwise it would be... And actually that's completely fine too. It sounds um, equally as good. So you can either disregard that left hand muting and just up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, slap, up, 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 slap, up. That's fine. And that's our basic strum. Now let's talk uh, a few variation ideas for chords here. Now um, even though the song is e, uh, we have an E major 7, you can quite easily make that an E major 9 and that's going to sound as a nice variation chord, especially after you've gone It only happens when I look at you and then go from E major 9 to E 9 Okay, is a, is a cool idea. So E major 9, middle finger goes to the 7th fret of the 5th string, 1st finger goes to the 6th fret of your next one, little finger going to the 8th fret, and then ring finger goes back to the 7th fret. So it gives you this shape, and you can use that open E bass. Okay, so it only happens when I look at you. If you go back into the chorus again, you could try this, an E9. Okay, so middle finger, same thing, first finger, same place as the E major 9, but then just bar the rest on that 7th fret, like so. Hello, when I look at you. Okay, it only happens, now that's another thing, for the chorus, it only happens, but we can easily substitute this F sharp minor with an F sharp minor 9, which is a cool sound as well. So middle finger to the 9th fret of the A string, next finger goes to the 7th fret of the D, and then these two are going to the 9th fret of the B and G strings. Okay, and that's your bass, the F sharp. And you can like the strummer or you can pluck. Okay, and then, then the second chord is a B13. Okay, so that's just like a normal B chord that I taught you, except you're going to take off these two, and you're just going to put your little finger down onto the, uh, where are we, ninth fret of the B string. Okay? Bass is still a B. So... That's a nice one too to lead you back in for the last time. We could have a what is this? It's a B uh, B seven sharp five. Okay, so uh, you can bar the seventh fret, but you're only really playing this bass note. Then these two fingers are going to go to the eighth fret of the B and G strings like that. Okay, and to give you that, and you can play that note too, of course, to give you that seventh. Okay, so. And that's quite nice to slide into. And then image on that. It only happened. And I'm gonna try that sharp five. When I look at you. And then again. And you can use that E major nine to go down and then up. Well, that's quite nice. Cool. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment below about what song you want me to teach you next. And awesome to meet you. 
Isaac, brother, thank you for the kind words. It was really cool. I was totally blown away. God bless you, and you keep rocking, man. You are awesome. Goodbye.